especially for playback control during shows, during live shows. Still a lot of people are using Arrangement View. Um, let's see how this is going to play out with the new scene follow feature um, coming up in Ableton 11. But um, especially for tempo control or for any other automations you have set up, maybe you want to access the same parameter via automation and arrangement and via a live control. And this will always, like if you control the same parameter live with a MIDI controller, which you have set up automations, uh, it will break those automations, deactivate those automations. So the same word goes for the temporal control stuff. So let's set up some song tempo um, automation here. So we gonna open up the mixer and song tempo and set a song tempo automation, just a random one. So you can see now the leader BPM goes down here according to this automation I just wrote in the Ableton Live set here. So when I'm now have uh, somewhere completely and a somewhere completely different part in my Ableton Live set if I got a um, tempo control using here or a different control yeah I'm accessing the master BPM or the leader BPM here and this breaks or deactivates the song tempo automation I made here so obviously at some parts I want to do this and at some parts I want to go back to the automation I set up in here. So for this you get the re-enable automation device here which you can um, trigger by mouse or you can set up a MIDI controller and for the MIDI controller here again you have the momentary mode so that the button doesn't stay on. So just showing you one hit and the button turns off automatically. If it's set to toggle, you have to hit twice. Um, the reason for this toggle function here is that you might just want to automate the re-enable automation function. So that's hard to understand. So you want to automate that all automations are being switched on and reactivated or re-enabled as it is called in Ableton Live here. So for this, I want the button mode to be toggle. And for this, I need to bang the button on and bang it off again. And I'm in the wrong track here. Sorry. So I need to go to this track. So this is the automation I want to access. So I'm triggering the back to automation button on and then triggering it off again. So this way it's turned on and turned off um, right here. So let's go back to our example. So we have um, a song tempo automation in here and it's now broken as I would say it's deactivated but because I changing the tempo here with this device for example so but as soon as I'm getting to this point here the re-enable automation will be triggered and this will re-enable the tempo automation set in here so let's play this again bom bom and you can see this is now re-enabled and activated again. So um, for everyone who didn't understand what was happening here right now, once more. So let's say you have a big, big set. And at the beginning, you're playing some tunes where you want to access like a different tempo and want to set the tempo different. So I'm doing this here with my device. So as soon as I change the tempo here, this tempo automation I have um, written in before is deactivated. So I need to re-enable this 
tempo automation. And usually it's this button here. Bam, you can see now deactivated and re-enabled. Yes. But um, you don't want to do this when you're playing live. You just want to automate this. So changing the tempo breaks the tempo automation here. But now because of this device, re-enable automation, bomb, bomb, it's re-enabled.